Can I take your order? Gerard the Lard. Okay, the daily housekeeping note. This this Gerard is not a good person. When you have a fat neck beard who just sits there on a couch asking for money, that's an immediate red flag, okay? The guy can't even take, he doesn't even have a time to take care of his own body and be healthy and be presentable. So when you have a disgusting looking fat lard with a greasy neck beard that you can friggin' see the Cheetos friggin' Cheeto stains on his t-shirt, his quadruple XL shirt, and his stupid little joggers that he wears that he gets from the friggin' big and fat store warehouse. When you see someone like that sitting there saying he's doing everything for a good cause, it's a red flag. What good cause, Gerard? Okay, a good cause would be, first of all, worrying about your own health. How about you going to the trainer? How about you stepping on a treadmill? How about you going for a friggin' walk instead of asking Uber to deliver food to you right to your door and stuff it in your fat face? Okay, how can you have a fat, unhealthy guy like that telling you to give him money for a good cause? It's ridiculous. It's the biggest oxymoron, aka fat moron, I've ever seen in my life. It doesn't work that way. It's not. But guess what? YouTube algorithm pushes incels like this to the front because they want the world to be destroyed. They want a world full of fat Gerards that can't even take care of their own health and then getting caught in the scam. This guy took over $600,000 of money. $600,000. That's not pocket change, okay? Considering the friggin' size of Gerard's friggin' pants, yeah, that probably is pocket change because it would fit, all that money would fit in his overly sized pocket on the backside of his friggin' disgusting jeans that smell like crap. The guy friggin' probably has wet farts 24-7 and doesn't clean himself. That's who Gerard is. So he took $600,000 over the span of 10 to 11 years taking money from you guys. Why? Because he sat like a fat neck beard at Indyland. Ooh, Indyland, guys. Shovelware land. Like, that's what it is. It's shovelware land. It's a bunch of friggin' insult virgins getting together to play crappy shovelware games, which nobody cares about. Literally nobody cares about, like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You, middle class, lower class people right now, what are you going to do? Come home from your nine to five while your wife's getting tyroned, while your kids are friggin' doing antics and not doing their homework, and take your time to play some shovelware games with Gerard and watch a stupid little shovelware land. Hell no, okay? No, Gerard. And while you're at it, get a friggin' haircut, okay? Your haircut is d ridiculous. The guy's got friggin' man boobs. There's not even one bra that can fit in the size of friggin' Gerard the Lard, all right? The guy has a father that's run, running annual golf. Look, it runs in the family. I told you guys, the rich get richer. They, they're taught this. Rich people teach their kids how to do this. Is it, what a coincidence, right? His dad, Gerard's dad, runs an annual golf tournament where he, expect, he, uh, he gets charity money. And what, what a surprise. Now, Gerard the Lard, his fat son, friggin' comes and does Indie Land, wants charity money. Like, what, 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 what kind of ridiculousness is this? It's all a fraud from start to finish. Gerard is so fat that he probably thinks the friggin' golf ball that they're teeing off with looks like a friggin' sugar-coated Timbit from Tim Hortons. It's friggin' ridiculous. Friggin' Gerard's fat will friggin' throw off the gravity, like someone said in the comments, throw off the gravity of all the golf balls being drived friggin' down that friggin' hole 17, and it, it goes straight into friggin' uh, Gerard's friggin' belly button, and he says it's a hole in one. But guess what? Gerard is kind of sad because he, he wishes it was a friggin' mozzarella ball that went right into his gut. Absolutely ridiculous. And then there's a friggin', um, there's a friggin' uh, leaked phone call, which I'm gonna play right here. The last thing I want to do is ruin the legacy of my family, of my mom and her memory, especially because this is such a personal thing for the last 25 years of my life. Um, you know, I'm, I, I'm not trying to be like, do you guys want money to help me hide this? It's not what this is at all. I'm just asking from a humanity perspective of like, if I am the target of this, I have 20 mouths to feed. I have sponsors. I have a business. I'm trying to make video games. I'm trying to get out of content creation so I don't have to worry about YouTube anymore and, and do better things in the world. And I just know because of my track record of things like G4 exploding, me being friends with John Tron when he was a racist, uh, you know, I've been a part of like, you know, pro Jared, like. 
Yeah, look at him just crying and just begging and all this stuff, halfway cut it off. Like he's crying to two grown men, Mustafa and Carl Jobs. It's friggin' out of control. This is some tough guy that ended up making some videos saying, I'm gonna sue everybody that has anything to say about my greasy neck beard. Well, guess what, Gerard? Your neck beard's ugly, you're ugly, you're fat, and you're a friggin' fraudster that took all this money from these people that thought they were friggin' donating it to a good cause, and then you as a cuck friggin' ha kept all that money in your stupid fast food account collecting hamburger interest and your excuse was that the friggin donation companies were like hey uh, the charity companies were like hey uh, you want a bigger lump sum of that because right now all this is going to go into admin fees yeah the only admin fees that you're friggin accruing uh gerard the lard is the friggin delivery fees of all those friggin doordash notifications coming to your door and out the yin yang it's friggin out of control ridiculous Let's continue on the call. Pulling one yeah. thread about the charity thing is going to upheave my entire life in a way that scares the living crap out of me. And I don't want to go home tonight and tell everyone, hey, there is a gigantic thing coming to claim my career and you all have to close down and find somewhere else to do. I know this is shooting me to say this. I'm not trying to ask for sympathy or anything, but this kind of stuff I mean, I've been following your guys' stuff for years. The stuff with Billy Mitchell, Carl, the stuff that you've done, Muto, with tons of content creators over the years. Like, mm -hmm. there's no nuance to this. People are going to see this, and they're going to immediately go, that Gerard guy who's been nice to a bunch of people actually isn't very nice overall. Fuck him. Let's get rid of him. And yeah, keep crying, Gerard. Keep crying, Gerard. Keep crying, Gerard. Your day of reckoning is coming, all right? You friggin' took people's emotions into play. You friggin' used your mom as a friggin' defense mechanism as to say, oh, why I, I, I wouldn't do this, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, apparently you did, okay? Your friggin' dad did with that stupid charity event with his golf course, and now you're doing it with Indyland Shovelware. You're both doing it. I personally don't even know how your mom looks like. I don't even know what her name is. I don't know what happened to her, when she passed away, when this, I don't even care. All I care about is you and your friggin' fat lard because you're friggin' keeping up traffic. No one can even get around you in the friggin' McDonald's fast food line because you're so overweight, all right? You're taking food out of the people's... There's people friggin' dying in third world countries that make less than a dollar a day and then can't even get one solid meal in one in a span of 24 hours. And here you are, Gerard, ordering fast food friggin' uh, like nonstop 24-7 and then even still going to the back of Taco Bell and using that Taco Bell KFC grease to friggin' grease your stupid neck beard, all right? What you need to do, Gerard, is apologize to everybody, but you didn't, because his video is called My Response. It's not called My Apology, it's called My Response. So he worded, like, he worded it like that on purpose. What a friggin' scumbag. And then he got friggin' Rosanna here. This Rosanna lady with the friggin' um, cooking show. You have her, some hot chef that just wants to make friggin' food and appeal to her Twitter followers. And then you got Gerard friggin' simping and cucking for her. Probably like using her and abusing her and friggin' uh, creeping her out eating food and having these kind of like sexual fantasies or something. Gerard's the only type of guy that does BDSM with food. That's who he is. Gerard is the type of guy who would friggin' make love to friggin' some fat chick while eating a Mr. Sub 12, uh, one foot long breaded chicken with tomatoes, lettuce, cheese, and extra mayo. You definitely know he's not using the light mayo. He's using the 100% fat mayo. He's definitely having that in his system. He's drinking every single pot machine you can think of. He's the type of guy that friggin' dumpster dives for a friggin' McDonald's refill cup and then goes into McDonald's and then drinks refill Cokes, Sprite, Fanta 24-7 in the goddamn McDonald's 24-7 uh, restaurants. He's friggin' he's gonna get friggin' audited right now about this stupid IRS thing. You know he's gonna stay quiet about that. Right? The aud auditor is going to be like, uh, Gerard, uh, there was 600K here, and now uh, you collected all this interest to stuff your fat face with. What happened to all that money? And then friggin' Gerard's like, well, if you want to find that money, we're going to have to use plumbing to go to the toilet because I cracked it all out after I ate all that goddamn food. Because that's where all it went. It just went to food. He ate food over and over and over again, and it shows because from the beginning of Indie Land to the end of right now, look how much fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter he's gotten. He's gotten lazier and lazier, fatter and fatter, and at most importantly, greedier and greedier. 
He just wants to keep taking money over and over. And now that scumbag father of his is still running the golf tournament in 2024. The dates are there, guys. You have the dates that are already set up. And those pieces of trash on the website, they hid the sort of uh, uh, the sponsorship fee or whatever, the entry fee, so that we can't figure out how much money they're going to make this year. It's going to be a lot, okay? And basically 75% of their earnings are going to go straight to Gerard's friggin' diet. His diet consists of fast food and other sugary products. He's the type of guy that goes to Walmart, goes straight to the junk food aisle, and buys every single product you can think of. One of each thing. He does not go into the friggin' fruit and salad area. You definitely know that. He's definitely going into the friggin' frozen food pizzas, uh, Jamaican patties, uh, friggin' lasagnas, pizza pops, and friggin' pop tarts, and pizza pockets. You know he's going to do that, idiot. God, Gerard, you're such a friggin' piece of trash. Like, these are, this is what you call the daily housekeeping roast, right? Where you just friggin' summarize everything that's happening. You know they're gonna have a friggin' nice uh, catering at the IRS audit. Gerard's gonna find the silver lining in every single bad thing that's happening to him. And his way to find silver lining is by thinking of food and having food at the same friggin' location. That's what he's gonna do. They freaking changed the website up, didn't they? Remember the website, the Open Mouth Foundation, aka the Open Hand Foundation? They freaking removed About Open Hand. They removed, uh, uh, oh, but they still have the donation button there. Yeah, hell yes. Yeah, if you want to donate and give your hard-earned money to some fat lard, go on right ahead. It takes two seconds. All you got to do is fill in the information of how much. And hey, 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 hey guys, make sure it's not two bucks. That's not enough. Because freaking Gerard said the donation companies, uh, charity companies were like, two dollars is not enough. We need a big lump sum. So get your, get your big freaking fat lump sum in so you can stuff Gerard's fat face with.